I am Alan Kerr, the curator of the collection uh, here of the Canadian Military Preservation Society. And we have been collecting posters for many years. The first posters uh, I purchased were a collection in Regina of about 50 Second World War and First World War posters. Since that time, we have added around 600 posters to the collection, with many of the best ones coming from the United States. The ones uh, that we purchase on eBay from the United States are generally in excellent condition and quite often the rarest ones. I believe the Americans collected posters from Canada before they got into the First and Second World War. And now that they find that these have some value and are not related to their war effort, they are being uh, sold uh, on eBay. I have uh, some World War I posters that were printed in Edmonton and uh, nobody in the local Royal Alberta Museum had ever seen them and five of them were purchased in the eastern United States. And these were mounted on linen which is a museum preser preservation method and for some reason they were on linen and in the States. Posters are used by the government to uh, control or help control the thoughts of the public uh, during uh, periods of, of stress. And of course wartime is a high period of stress. They also use them to help put policies in place and to influence the public to act in certain ways. We have the ones to do with uh, shipping and that don't talk, don't spread words. We have them with workers to do extra work to help the war effort. And again, it's a way to influence the way people act and think. Some of the posters maybe don't tell the truth, but they do tell a message that the government wants uh, to get out and to influence the way people react. Posters during the First World War and the Second World War show how people can be influenced by the media. Now this continues throughout the time and Second World War they took another step because at this time you, newspapers are widely used, radios are there for most people. So the way that they use posters are uh, different in that they can be more complex in the message they get out. And this continues through to today, that posters would not be as effective today because of the wide use of television and the other uh, medias that uh, young people especially use. So the posters we have is a illustration of a long period, almost a hundred years, of the way people are influenced, the way the government gets the message out, and the different types of media that are used. 